ourselves in as the time grows closer to his coming. We're living in a dark hour. Yes. Our enemy's really pressing hard. And we're going to want to know, are we really truly Come on, living man. a Come victorious on. life? Yeah. Are we living victorious in those situations? Or are we giving God the glory? Is he being glorified in the middle of turmoil? Yeah. We get a preconception of what God's will is sometimes. Uh, this old flesh uh, is enmity against God, uh, and it's not subject to the law of God, and it neither indeed can be. And, but we get a conception in our well, mind uh, of what the will of God is, and, and you know, it's, yeah. it's sort of like uh, when everything's going smooth, when everything's going good, uh, on, when everything's all right in our life, and uh, yeah. when things are looking up, and uh, when we're right. feeling the spirit of God, but I'm telling right. you, He's still God, uh, hey. whether we feel Him or whether we yeah. don't. Uh, the will of God might be on the back side of a desert. The will of God might be yeah, oh, on the ship of my yeah, The will yeah, of God might be standing in the front of a big red sea. Woo, yeah. The will of God, yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah, might be in the fire. It might be in the blood. It might be yeah, in the storm tonight. Yeah. Are we willing tonight? Are we willing tonight to pay the price? Are we willing tonight to, to be yeah. the sinner of God's will? No yeah. matter where it takes us, that he might be glorified. Yeah. Oh, that he might be glorified. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He deserves yeah. the glory tonight. Yeah. Yeah. He deserves yeah. the glory. Yeah. 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 Paul said in 2 Corinthians, My grace is sufficient for thee. For yes. my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes. Most gladly, therefore, will I glory in my infirmities. Yeah. Yes. And in the power that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Most gladly, most gladly tonight uh, will I, hallelujah, will we gladly tonight take pleasure in wherever God yes. got us, in wherever his will is, right. that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure yeah. in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, yeah. in persecutions, in distress, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, I am strong. Yeah. Yeah. It says in John 16 and 33, These things have I spoken unto you. In this world ye shall have tribulation. But be of what? Be depressed. Be overwhelmed. Be cast down. No, it says be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He's already up in the He's already paid the price. He ain't got no victory in him. He's got to be victory in him tonight. Victory in Jesus. It says in Galatians 5, 22 and 23, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Hallelujah, hallelujah tonight. I don't think I'm the only one in here. The Lord woke me up at 2.30 in the morning and every time I tried to lay back down, he'd give me something else. And I was up until daylight. And like I said, the devil's taught me all day, telling me that this word everybody's already heard it before. And God didn't give it to you, but he's a liar tonight. Sometimes we get the in a tunnel vision, the devil wants to put us in a little bubble, and all we yeah. can see is our trouble, Come all we can in. see is the storm, Come all we can see is the flames oh. oh. the yeah. all we can see is death, all we can see, and it starts out oh. with and then it comes down to fear, and then it comes down to doubt, and yeah. then it comes down to depression and oppression, oh. and the enemy wants to hold us down yeah. and keep us back, and then we say, oh God, Lord Jesus, I want to be closer to you. Yeah. So I ask the question tonight, how many people in here tonight wants to be promoted in God? How many people yeah. want to go higher in God? Yeah. I see them come time and time again yeah. and stand up here and be anointed and say, I want to be closer to God. But then when God puts us in the middle of something, instead of us looking for his will, yeah. instead of us staying fast, yeah. instead of us looking yeah. for the God, we start coming back, preacher, pray for me. Oh, get me out of this situation. Pray for me and get me out of here. Oh, we yeah. all seek God or are we not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we want to seek him no matter what. That's good. If we want his will. We better be careful when we say we want his will. Yeah. We better be careful. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, amen. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 61. 
one. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the men. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to their captains and the opening of prison to them that are bound. To proclaim except for you in the Lord on the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. They're supporting yeah. until yeah. tonight. Uh, and to give unto them beauty for ashes. They're yeah. some sitting in some ashes tonight if you're in the will of God. Yeah. And he wants to trade it to you for beauty. The oil of joy for yeah. mourning. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the trees of righteousness. Yeah. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Oh, and tell you tonight you got to be sick yeah. to know that they're not healing. Yeah. You got to be down to know that there's an up. Yeah. God is good tonight and, and he desires to give yeah. you gifts and help. He's not God. concerned about the material things of this world. He's right. concerned about souls. Yeah. Yeah. It's not all about oh, yeah. us. Yeah. But it's about people yeah. being born again. Yeah. It's about this world dying and going to hell tonight. Oh. So we're willing to not to pay the price. Are we willing to walk in the center of his will Amen. that he might be glorified? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We talk, I'm just going to run over a few. Thank you, Jesus. That, that gave God the glory, that stood the test. Yes, Amen. And God blessed him, and God yes. did the work. Amen. We're going to turn to 1 Samuel chapter 17. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Praise God. We all know the story. I'm just going to run over them a little bit. Hallelujah. We know that Jesse sent his youngest son, David, to go down right to the battle, to go down to his brothers to take them uh, food and to take what they needed. And he went and did that. And, and you know, when his eldest brother met him, he said unto him, he said, what camest thou down for hither? And whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down that thou might see the battle. Ain't that just like the devil? So come if you on. step out to do something good, uh, he's going to start accusing you. Uh, yeah. He's going to start coming against you with everything that he's got. Yeah. Uh, but it's time for the church to put, the, put him Ooh. on the go, to put him on yeah. the back up instead of backing down, instead of running and humping Huffer down in a corner and cry. We need to stand up and say, Devil, I repent you in the name of Jesus. I'm coming in the name of the Lord. David did right there what his father had seen him to do, and he could have just listened to his brothers and went on back to the house. Even though he was sitting there in the natural, he seen a spiritual cause. He says, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? Is there not a cause tonight? Is there not a cause worth us paying the price? Is there not a cause worth us seeking the will of God, seeking the will of God, and staying in? Standing there. Yes. 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 After David told him that he kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and the lamb came to take a lamb out of the flock. And he said, I went out after him, and I smote him, and I delivered him out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. And I slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised field of sign shall be as one of them, seeing he had to fight the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw yeah. of the lion yeah. and out of the paw of the bear, yeah. he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go and unto the Lord, and the Lord be with you. This verse here is what the Lord let stand out to me. Verse 38. There, I believe David slipped a little bit back in the flesh. Why did he let Saul put his armor on him? Come on, man. Why did he let Saul put his armor on him? You know, like I said, we hear the 
word. Uh, we read the word. We know the word. We speak the word. Uh, and yet, uh, when we see a giant up before us, uh, the first thing the flesh does is wants to pick up some armor of herself. Uh, wants Come to on. figure out what to do. You know, got to figure out which way you can fix this. Uh, pick up your own weapons. Uh, no, hallelujah. I've been tried all my weapons, brother. David yeah. said he hadn't tried them, so he couldn't take them. I've done tried all mine, and I get defeated every time. Every time I try to use my yeah. own, every time that I turn around yeah. or figure it out on my own, I get defeated. Right, right, right. The devil gets me in the office, shape ever was, and I allow it. Come on. I allow it. I sit right. back and allow it. Gets me depressed. It gets me in hope. It just gets me in despair. Yeah. Gets me to, just to thinking that I can't do nothing for God no more. Just right. every lie that He can oh, come up yeah. with. Yeah. And I listen to that old enemy line. Oh, yeah. I listen to that line. Oh, and I need to stand up and say, Who do you think yeah. you are? Who do you think you are? You can't stop God. You can't stop God. You're not fighting against me. But you're bad. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In verse 15, that old king said, And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king and said, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful. We're not careful. We know the answer. We already know in whom we believe. We already know. And that's what we need to be telling faith. We already know who we belong to. We're not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us Glory from the burning fire furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy yeah. hand. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. We know how the story goes. The ones that threw him in uh, died and burned up. But there was That's a fourth right. man. There was a fourth man showed up That's in that right. fire. There was a fourth man showed up in that fire. And nothing was burned off of him. And all of them had to leave at the barn. And they killed him. And they got the smell of smoke on him tonight. Why don't we afraid of him tonight? We say that we trust God for our eternal salvation. We say that we trust God tonight. But yet when we face suffering, we run trembling in fear. Yeah. Say, get me out of this, get me out of that. But God's wanting us to stand. God's wanting us to stand and let him be glorified in these situations. Praise God, praise God. He's wanting the glory. Thank you. Uh, he deserves the glory. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, amen. Because they stood, because they wouldn't bow, praise because they God. wouldn't bend. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It said the princes and the governors and the captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power. Because the hair on the head seized, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Because they stood. Hallelujah. We need to get a backbone today. We need to get a backbone in this hour. We're moving in. We wonder why the altars ain't guilty. We wonder why nobody ain't being saved. Why nobody don't want to come to church. Because they're seeing a bunch of Whitney Christians in the house. They're seeing a bunch of people that's blacking down every time they see church. Instead of standing up and rebuking the enemy and being what they say they are. They stand up, they see the power of God moving. They see something that they need and they don't want it. They can keep them from wanting to come in the house of God. They be wanting to come to the house of God. They be wanting what we say we got. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be God of Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego, who has sent an angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word. And you have you heard their bodies that they might not serve nor worship Ooh. any god except their own god. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language would speak anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill. Because Amen. there is no other God that can yeah. give her after this story. Yeah. And verse 30, then the king promoted. Yeah. Come on. Praise God. Are we going to do it or are we not? Are we going to stay where we're at? Come on tonight. Oh, I want to be in the center of his will no matter where it is. It's not just words. I want to have the power. I want to have the word. He sent yes, the word God. tonight to, to feed yes. us so that when it happens again, yes. we ain't going to run and hide in the Come corner. On. We ain't going to run and cry and get depressed. Uh, we're going to stand up and say, oh, no, devil. Uh, God done sent yeah. the word. Uh, and you, I'm not going to fall for this yeah. again. But I'm going to go forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, he's able to take care of me. He's able to keep me no matter what situation that you pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Daniel chapter 6. Same thing again. Thank you, Jesus. They made a decree that if anybody prayed to any man or God except ask anything except for the king within 30 days, that they'd be through in the lines then. Uh-huh. Come on. Verse 10, now when Daniel yeah. knew that the writing was signed, he went to his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed yeah. and gave yeah. thanks before the yeah. yeah. God as he did aforetime. Yeah. If we knew that if somebody heard us praying, that they was going to come and bind us up and take yeah. us out, 
Come on. And throw us in a pit with a bunch of hungry lions. He tell me if we be whispering us. If we be a hiding somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we need to get right in the devil's face. And we need to cry out, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That devil don't want us to pray. He wants yeah. us to run yeah. in fear. Yeah. He wants us to not call on that name because all power in heaven yeah. and earth is Praise in that name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Daniel knew, knew that there was time, Thank but he still Lord. knew his readers was open and he still prayed just as he did before. That's right. Are we willing tonight? Yeah, are we willing tonight to go all the way? Amen. Are we Praise willing tonight? Amen. Lord, I'm Lord, I'm Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise. Um, verse 16, that old king said the same thing. Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. They knew God would deliver them. They knew who they belonged to. They knew they weren't their own. They'd been bought with a price. Hallelujah. They knew that God was going to take care of them. They wanted His will. They wanted Him to have the glory and the honor. They wanted Him to be glorified in their life. Verse 22, My God has sent His angel and has shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before Him, Innocent was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. The king was exceedingly glad and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. He was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. Yeah. And we believe in our God tonight. Yeah. Or is it just a game we're playing? Or is it just words we're saying? Or is it just something to pass the time? If there's coming a time, it's in or out. It's black or white. It's saved or not saved. It's trusting or don't yeah. trust him. Yes, come on. That's a good word. That's a good word. Praise God. Yeah. Because Daniel didn't have it down in fear, but because he went ahead and prayed. Yeah. Verse 26 said, I make a decree that every dominion of my kingdom. Men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God. Yes. yes. God got the glory. God got the glory. Amen. Verse 28. So this Daniel prospered. Yeah. We want God to prosper us. We want God to promote us. But we're leaning to the flesh. Yes. Come on. We're leaning to the flesh. <laughs> Acts chapter 16. I'm tired. I'm tired of facing the same old day. Yeah, come on. I'm tired of being defeated every time. Yeah. No, because of God's unfailing love and mercy and grace. That's right. I think when I finally give up, bro, when yes. I finally get so low that I don't know nothing yeah. else to do, when I finally give up and call on him, because of his unfailing love, yes. he reaches down and picks me back up, bro. Yes. Yes. Oh, he reaches down and ain't never been a time yes. that I call on the name of Jesus, and he didn't come to my rescue. Yes. Oh, he picks me up and he dusts me off, and he sends yes. me back down like a pipe, yes. brother. But I don't want to be sitting yeah. right down in the same spot. Yeah, I'm tired of that spot. I'm tired. I want to go home. I want to go deeper. I want to go higher and higher. I want to see God taking souls. I want to see chains being broken. Drug addicts. I want to see prostitutes in honor crying. I want to see God moving in my church again. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Jesus, where's the power at? God ain't lost a bit of his power. Oh, he ain't lost a bit of it. Verse 16. We know that this damsel was possessed with a spirit of divination. Divination and was following him around. She was soothsaying and she was making money for her masters. And Paul got tired of her being grieved. Amen. After he took it, took it, took it, he finally turned around and cast out that devil in the name of Jesus. Yeah. He commanded to come out, and it came out the same hour. And so, therefore, they took him. They rose up against him, and they rent off their clothes, and, and they commanded them to be beat. Amen. And when they had laid many stripes upon him, they cast him into the prison, charging the jailer to keep him safely. 
And having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. You know, any time, like I said, that you do something for God, it seems like every time that uh, that I get to that place and, and on, I, God so lifts right. me back up and dusts me off and sits me back on the rock I, and sits me back on the path and God uses me, here comes the devil ten times harder.
29, for not. Psalms 18 and 29 says, For by thee have I wrath for a tree been leaped over a wall. Galatians. Ooh. Romans 8 and 37 says, Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Yeah. Do we believe the word tonight? Do we believe that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and to them that are called according to his purpose? Do we believe that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world? We say these things, we quote these scriptures, but are we applying them to our life tonight? Are we applying them to our life tonight? Jesus, 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 Jesus. God wants to give us beauty for ashes. He wants to give us the oil of gladness tonight. Oh, but we've got to do according to the word. We've got to do according to that that he's got planned for our life. We've got to quit turning our back and run. Stand up in the face of it. Stand right up in the face of it. And not stand in my Rosalie's name. Not staying in the preacher's name. Uh -huh. Not staying in the church's name. Yeah. But staying in the name of Jesus. Yeah. There's no way we can go up. There's no way we can go down. Is there anybody in the house tonight like me? You're tired of, of standing in the same spot. You're tired of every time uh, that Jesus lifts you up because he loves you so much and he has mercy on you. Even though that you didn't stand faithful in the thing that he put you in. Is there anybody in the house that wants a promotion? Is there anybody that wants to prosper? Then we've got to stand in the face of the enemy and tell him, Who do you think you are coming against the child of God tonight? Who do you think you are? I'm not my own, but I belong to Jesus.